Yeah, hey, Cherie. Well, it's a different kind of opening day here in Cincinnati today. You know, they're expecting a record crowd down at the ballpark. The problem is it's going to be a record low crowd that are limiting who gets in. Now, I want to show you what's happening here on Fountain Square. They got all these tables set up here. They're expecting people to come out here and watch the game from across the street. They'll have a big screen set up there, but this is nothing like a normal opening day in Cincinnati. After the longest delay of game in the history of baseball, it's finally here. Opening day, Cincinnati. COVID season has not defeated baseball season. Opening day is back, although it is the first spring day ever in July. I think I like the real spring weather better, but um, at least we get to do it. This year is different than most. We're used to seeing the bands, the floats, the people. Oh my gosh, crazy. The usual parade begins at Finley Market, but this year, it's an off-speed pitch, no parade, fewer people. Just flash back and compare. At the same place last opening day, Mr. Redlegs, then you see him, now you don't. Rosie Red has to be blue about this, and the crowds are now quiet. But even at that, it hasn't stopped the spirit of opening day in Cincinnati. A little different, but it'll be great. <laughs> Just a change of life, the way the world is. I think people can adapt. It's not the same. I mean, it is the same, but it's not the same. And in a strange way, this year, the same but not the same actually makes sense. Yeah, now uh, what they're doing over at Washington Park is they're having more like a listening party over there. You'll go over, they got loudspeakers set up so people will be able to go over and listen to the game as they just take the evening in over at Washington Park. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick. WLWT News 5. And Brian, all the concerns about social distancing. What are they doing there on Fountain Square about that tonight? Yeah, Cherie, we've seen this get pretty packed on certain nights before whenever they've had a crowd down here. Here's what they're doing different. They have these seats out here, and they say once these seats fill up, that's it. That is their capacity, and they will have people going around and having people kind of move along because this is where you have to sit to watch the game. Great. Right. Still keeping in mind that social distancing and being safe while enjoying our Reds. Brian here, we're reporting live for us tonight. Brian, thank you.